Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file once again. I'm going to jump in as our scythed boy and I think I'm going to do greed mode as him. Um, I don't know, I feel like this character could, could just be really fun in greed mode and honestly I want to play this character more because I'm just really enjoying him. I am going to play the tainted version on the save file soon but uh, I'm getting a thumbnail cooked up for them uh, potentially soon. So we'll wait until that happens first because I'd like to have a thumbnail for them before we head in with them on the series. But... For now, we've got the regular Samael. As people have told me, it's properly pronounced, not Samuel. Samael. Samael. Something along those lines. Either way, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, but yeah, we did a showcase episode on the tainted version a few days back, and honestly, that version of this character is so much fun. The developer has really clearly put a lot of love into... Um, this is probably going to be pretty awful. Um, oh, wait, no. It might not be... It depends, because I think it's every kill it lowers the damage. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how this ends up working out. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I always forget this guy starts with a bit lower speed as well. Uh, we do have a tinted rock there too. Yeah, okay. So this guy does have a little bit of a bug with um, things that are supposed to lower your damage. They just don't, unless you use your throne version. Um of the scythe so we had to, we had that experience with um the version of this character was it this character yeah it was this character that we played the other day we had a similar issue with another item which is, is very convenient for us because it, it means that we get a pretty good damage boost here uh, off the bat it's not a crazy damage boost like it was last time last time it was literally 10 times damage which was nutty uh that's a lot of blood but not quite that crazy this time. I do not like you. Okay, good. <laughs> I love all of them racing towards that singular head. But yeah, as for the question of the day today, um, what's something that never fails to make you happy? What's something you see that never fails to put a smile on your face? Like, I know this is probably a pretty generic answer, um, I'm not... That's fucking awful in this mode, I'm pretty sure. Unless it works with every penny, then it's amazing. No, it doesn't. I didn't think it would. Um, this is a, probably a pretty generic answer. Um, but I'm not like a super sort of family sort of person. It's not like I want kids super soon or anything like that. But seeing a baby is always quite a joyful experience. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just always like... I don't... I think it's also... It's kind of partially because it's like... You get to see the baby and enjoy the the happiness of seeing a baby, but you don't have to bring it home and care for it. <laughs> I feel like that's like part of the joy. It's like, ah, I don't have to make sure I keep this thing alive. I just get to see it and be like, look, it's cute. <laughs> I feel like that's definitely a big part of it. That's kind of I, I, like, now that I say that out loud, that's really funny. Um, yeah, that, that seems like it's one of those things. But also, there's, there's, like, a few people that, like, I just, on YouTube, like, can't wait to see upload. Sometimes that happens where it's just like, oh my god, yes. Especially people that, like, don't upload often. Like, um, Frankie on PC in 1080p is a specific example of a person that I watch that just basically never uploads videos. Oh, let's, let's, let's go to the alt path, shall we? Let's buy a key and go to the alt path. It's a little bit pricey, but why the hell not? Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's one of those things that it's just like, oh, he just doesn't upload very often at all. So when he does, it's always like, yes. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay, so I don't exactly know how the downpour kind of works in this version. I'm sure there's some interesting parts to it. We do get an item choice and... Wow, 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 is that a good one? Um, this has increased our scythe size by a good bit. We do have some keys. We have champion bell. Oh, we have a cheap key there. Please give us the money to buy the cheap key. Indeed you did. Indeed you did. Thank you for the cheap key. In fact, I'm going to buy another cheap key for later. And I'm going to bomb you as well. I'm sorry, small child. Ooh, hello. I was not expecting that, but I will take it. 
It'd be funny if, like, if you, um... Well, this is interesting. I didn't really think about how, uh, Berserk would work with this, but... It's basically just made us into a scythe-wielding mania. That was pretty funny. Um... But yeah, it'd be funny if, like, if you blew up the contraband guy rather than actually paying into him to get the contraband, it just, like, exploded into drugs everywhere. Da -da -da -da. Oh, bloody little miscreants. I barely saw you. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, it's hard to not get hit by these. There's an enemy left. Okay, yeah, I see you, I see you. Okay, got you, little horn. I know what you're doing. What do you get back here, you shit? There you go. Easy kill. He just keeps running away from me. Okay, this is a very strong run right now. Very strong run indeed. Here we get... Oh, we do have a mirror. Um, interesting. I'm going to take whatever this is. Sticky bombs... So I'm guessing there's a white fire somewhere? Maybe in a secret room, potentially? Well, I found the secret room. There is no white fire in here. I feel like I've got to check around here. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe the white fire's in the ending room. I should check that first before I start bombing everywhere. I realise I'm going to take damage here, but I don't really care. Okay, that was great. We have lost all the health, though. We need to be careful. Oh my god, it's Pride Pin again. Pride Pin will not leave me alone. <laughs> it's not in the ending room. I'll be honest, I'm a little confused. Right, let's first bomb this open, because we've got the bombs to do it. And see if it's in this room? Maybe? It is not. So, there's clearly a white fire somewhere, but I'm unsure as to where it is. Did I just miss it? Is it, like, really obvious? It's definitely not in the shop. Not in here. Not in either the item rooms, right? Not in here. Oh, it's here. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm not exactly sure how this works, I'm going to be honest. This gives us the knife piece. Okay, that's li you literally just grab the knife piece and that's it. Okay. Fine by me. Right, so we got one of the knife pieces. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I did say, it, it did, like, describe it, but I didn't really listen. Um, rocket in a jar. Honestly, both of these are kind of trash. I think I'm going to glass D6 them both. Cancer's great. Linger Bean is unfortunately not great. Um, that's actually pretty decent. Number one probably would have been pretty good with this. Gain a soul heart at the start of each level. Yes, please. Don't want the Gestapo machine. Thank you. We are still the lost currently, so we are going to have to be careful about what the hell is that? We have to be a little careful here. Also, I've just realized we're the lost without, um... Hmm. We're the lost without Holy Mantle. This could go really bad. <laughs> that was pretty nice. Um, we're gonna have to be awfully careful here. We do have the ability to sit over some rocks, so let's do that. And obviously, Malak Mott will help a ton as well. Ever we feel threatened, Malak Mott. Okay, good. I can always let my uh, let my buddy ta handle a lot of it for me, my little driftwood buddy. He'll fill in the gaps for me and stuff. Don't like that. 
Okay. This is definitely a Malak Mot situation. I do not want to get blown up by one of you. Oh god. Now this could go horrendously. I have to kill you with my Malak Mot right now. It did not work. Bollocks. This scares me deeply. Damn it, why'd you have to move like that? Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> What's the next boss? Okay, that is not what I expected. It's fine. Yeah, I was not expecting this um, this boss, I'll be honest. I really wasn't. Um, I'm a little worried about the little flies this guy produces and stuff. Uh, I don't think Malak Mott's going to be all that useful for us here. Okay, this is good. Let's get in there with Malak Mott. Okay, unfortunately... This guy's going to be a little bit of a problem. Okay, we got him. Okay, good. Now, I think we can just leave and... Yes, we become... We become human again. Okay, that that was a very scary thing. I had literally no reason to do the boss there, but I did. <laughs> that was just a bad idea all around. How does this work again? Okay, it takes red hearts. Good. And I've got to fill it up. I can fill you. And we get the leech. I don't mind the leech at all. Um, That's actually pretty decent. We'll take that. Thank you. Um, And then we'll do this. In which we have to fight. Oh, what the fuck? Mother Shadow? Hello. I was not expecting a Mother Shadow in this situation. I tried to use Malik Mot there and completely failed. Dude, can you not do the whole thing where you go invincible? I can't even hit the bones. This is BS. I, I literally can't even hit the bones. It doesn't do damage to them. Okay. Oh, there's the knife piece here. I was like, am I not getting a knife piece too for that? Did get a devil deal here. Unfortunately, it's not a devil deal worth doing. Sadly. Um, right, so... I think now... Key. And bomb. I think we're going to spend some HP to get through here. That, that took red health first. That was weird. Okay, we have our knife. Interesting. I don't know how this is all going to work. This is a very quick run thus far. I'm a little scared about that. We have a library here. That's great. Check out a library. We get the cookbook. On use chance to make a food collectible. Spawn a heart. Spawn a blue fly or spawn flies. The hearts that can spawn are full hearts, double hearts, burn hearts. There's twenty five. There's a fixed twenty five percent chance this book will activate a second time. That seems pretty good. Uh, we'll pop the lovers already here. We'll carry this with us. And okay, this seems like an interesting idea. Uh, a bit. Bit of a peculiar shop. I don't think I'm going to be buying anything this floor, unfortunately. Big Chubby, no thank you. Oh, the shovel. I, the shovel might be better. Like, that's that's an interesting book. Ooh, okay, we've got a tinted treasure room here. I did not expect that. Um, I didn't even know they could spawn here. I will take the speed up. Um, I kind of maybe think I, 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 I ought to stick with the chest. Uh, let's buy two keys here. Oh, this is a fucking... Split key. I didn't really want that, but there you go. Right. I've never seen this before with a tinted treasure room spawning like this, but I ought, I ought to take a look. Champion belt. Reduce the spawn of uh, champions when entering a new room um, or taking damage. Gain an aura that strongly repels to enemies and projectiles. Honestly, that's not good. Like, I know I just spent like 10 cent on that, but like... The, the effect when entering a room just isn't ever active for us, so what's the point? Yeah, this is kind of what I was thinking here. We get a lot of um, extra money and stuff, so. Oh my god, we got him. Stay away from me, you whippy fools. I'm 
unfortunately just a bad um, bad trinket there. I do not want. I said I do not want. Go away, trinket. Right, take you down pretty fast. I love the way you can stand inside the enemy when you've got Malak more active. <laughs> For maximum DPS. Good. We fight Mum's heart here. Wait, is this the mausoleum version of Mum's heart? Okay, I'm just gonna have to get in there. I'm gonna just take the damage and get in there. And it spawned the fleshy door, yeah. Okay. This is all quite interesting. And then we go to the corpse. Okay, this is very interesting. Um, increase the range at which you can see unexplored rooms. That doesn't super help us. Grab the mystery ones and see what we get. Hello, you. I'm not going to grab you. Um, have a look in here. 120 volt. And bacon grease, unfortunately, isn't very good. But it's okay. Oh, the spikes there. I have flight, you fucking idiot. I don't know why, but this character just makes me feel like I have flight. Uh, let's let's bomb this and get to the reroll machine, because honestly, nothing here really sparks my interest. Apparently, donating on modded characters just doesn't work, people have told me, so I'm not going to bother saving up money. Fun guy transformation, nice. Been a while since we've had that. 15% chance to gain an extra item charge on clearing a room. Um, will always cost 15, plus 30. Um, okay, that's pretty good. Get bees until another item is bought. I guess we can use this for a little while. I thought my leech was an enemy then. I was very confused. Right. Malik Mo I'm saving my magician card for the boss because it gives us a huge ranger, which makes our scythe bigger. Honestly, 120 volt. I didn't even think about it when I picked it up, but it's actually a pretty good item for us because we're constantly staying in close range with the enemy. Oh, can, can you stop spawning these? These are the worst enemies to ever exist. This is just foolish game. It's just foolish. Yeah, look at the 120 volt going off there. It's so good. File. Got a spike chest that time, lovely. What I've always wanted. Okay, pile, what are you doing? There you go, you're dead is what you're doing. Okay, this is an interesting... Ooh, we, uh, we got an item uh, from our spike chest here. Strange, wasn't expecting that, but there you go. Okay, you get gone. I was just going to say, I don't know where Conquest is, but Conquest is just doing his own thing. He's about to split. Yeah, he did. He always hits me with this goddamn horsey boy. Angel deal, finally. And unfortunately, not a great one at that. But it's damage. I don't dislike damage. <laughs> right. In terms of where we're going next, do we just go to the next floor? I guess so. This is the mother fight. Okay. 
we're already at mother. Right. I'm going to buy some stuff now, Um, I think. This is good. This is good. None of these are really my style. Actually, I'll buy that to see what's under it. It did actually help my bees. Oh, wait, I have a, a new looking scythe now. When did that happen? I have like a webbed scythe. That's pretty cool. I don't know when I got that. I'll be honest, I don't know when I got that. Bollocks, I'm not getting anything good here. Come on. BFF's pretty decent. I'll take that. And then... Look foot is what it is. Spelunker's hat. It stops us from getting stuff falling on us, I guess. Right. Good to go. The mother fight. Okay. Very interesting. So, is this like a custom mother fight? I think it is. Now, the question is, will I get the completion mark for Greedier, or the completion mark for Mother, or neither? <laughs> I kind of expect neither, I'll be honest, I'm, but I'm really not sure. Very interesting fight here. Does it have a second phase? It does not. And it did turn to gold. And it also did jam in one penny. Right. That was confusing. Wait. Does that actually count as a mother kill? If that does, that's wild. I, I mean, I can't actually check right now, but I got the mother cutscene. So I think it counts as a mother kill. Which is interesting. Because that, that makes getting Mother Marks significantly easier. But anyways, that was a bit of a short run, I realize. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. That was a fun one. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.